Eldrick the Golf Robot was born some five years ago in the Dines Unlimited Products uh, factory in, in Bonsall. Yeah, you probably have heard of this incredible machine. We have some video of what it can do. Everyone remembers the Iron Byron of years ago. This machine is so much more sophisticated. It actually hit a hole in one last February at the par three, the infamous par three hole at the Waste Management Open. It is an incredible piece of machinery and it just happens to be here at KUSI. I was at the Golf uh, Fairbanks Country Club earlier today. I'm with two of the men who are responsible for it. Sean Dines is the man, the, you are the company, you are the man behind the computer, right? I'm the engineer behind you it. You are the, the engineer. You, you, yep. put, you put the guts of it together. First the of all, brains. why? Why? Uh, to teach people to play better golf. Which brings us to Gene Perenti, who's also, you're not a golfer, right? Correct. You're not a golfer, so you needed to partner yourself with a man who golfs. You do golf. What do you play to? Uh, about a 10. So tell us what this golf robot can do. This robot can duplicate any swing from a number one player in the world to a beginning golfer. And we can show you not only their swing, but their swing flaws and how to improve them. We have some video of earlier today. You were at Fairbanks Ranch. What was that all about? It was really interesting. We had two players, one swinging 70 miles an hour and one swinging 110 miles an hour. We identified both of their swing flaws and we gained 20 yards in distance for both players. So just by it can, it can tell you basically what you're doing wrong. Exactly. Exactly. One of the difficulties of golf is knowing what you're doing. And so what we're able to do is put the same club in the machine, duplicate their same swing, and then show you what their swing flaw is, and then improve it on the robot and show you what the max potential is. All right, we have some testimonials from the folks at Fairbanks Ranch. Go ahead and roll those. At first I was skeptical because I've been taking some lessons with a professional and I thought what can they really show me that this robot's going to do differently and it was totally shocking. The robot Eldrick duplicates what you do and then it shows you the improvement and then you make the minor changes like it just showed you. Your ball goes 20 yards further. So explain to me how long this took to create. Oh, well, it all started about 20 years ago when we first built the machines that are used by all the golf club manufacturers. Uh, so this machine is really about 25 years of Gene and I working together, building and improving. How expensive is it? This is half a million dollars right here. How many of them do exist? Only one of these, but 40 of the lab models. And so you're just going to take it around the country and... And teach people, teach people to play better golf. Ultimately, he will play a round of golf again. That's our, our so goal, but it's gonna, we want to make humans play better golf. So this is just like the movie Terminator. You're going to take oh, over the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Exactly. It's the All beginning. Right. So let's, uh, Gene, if we're, if you could tee up a ball for us. Where's uh, Maddie? Ma Maddie, Maddie Sinclair is uh, perhaps the best golfer on uh, the, in the KUSI Sports Department. Maddie, uh, what do you play to? Um, you know, my handicap's about like a 20. -ish. All right. Well, Maddie, let me introduce you to Eldrick. Okay. Uh, hang on, so let's cycle through. He's, uh, you made him a little nervous, I oh, think. Oh, oh, oh. All right, there we go. But, uh, come here, Maddie. All right. Uh, say hello to Eldrick. Hello, Eldrick. Hello, Maddie. Are you seeing anyone? Uh, aren't you a little young for me? I'm five. Uh, is that your age or handicap? So, is that a no? I guess the golf lesson is over. Five, uh, what is five, what, five years of age? It's been around, so, yeah, so is it getting better and getting better? Yes, absolutely. He is five years, only five years old. All right, but so, he did get his hole in one when he was only three. So it's, it's on a good, a good roll. So without giving away trade secrets, uh, as we go ahead, Gene, if you can let oh, cycle through, okay. how does it work? Uh, without giving away trade secrets, uh, it's a computerized machine driven by a servo motor that swings the same over and over and over. Now, it's a, it's a pretty big thing. I know you're taking it around the country. I, I guess, suppose you can take it in a C-130 in cargo plane, but do you hope to make it even smaller as it gets that May man versus machine? Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't think it'll be necessary, though. And, and obviously, it captivates everywhere you go. Well, for, well, for instance... Uh, it wasn't so long ago, Rory McIlroy met Eldrick. The encounter, uh, Gene, were you there for that? Yes, I was. What, what, was, uh, what was Rory doing with Eldrick? So um, the European tour hired us to do a commercial with um, Rory. Rory, when he was a young lad in Northern Ireland, his dad had a washing machine in the backyard. And in order for him to practice, he would chip into the washing machine. So the idea was we put numbers of washing machines in a driving range, and we went head to head, the robot versus Rory. And uh, the, the encounter went something like this. Go ahead. This is Rory McElroy dealing with Eldrick. Uh, the, the computer did not ask Rory out. Oh, 
Are you kidding me? You got lucky. My internet is currently down. Boom. The eagle has landed. Is that the same noise you heard when you signed your sportswear contract? <laughs> So Rory had good fun with it. The fact that the computer can interact with uh, with the golfer makes it extra special, doesn't it? Well, it's, it's really interesting. We want to humanize machines. We want to interact with machines. And that's, and that's the beauty of this machine is you can interact with it. You can get feedback from it. So not only is it an incredibly sophisticated golfer that can duplicate any, any golf swing, but it can also ha it bring in some fun and some entertainment. Because at the end of the day, that's what golf's all about. And so do we envision a day when the golf pro becomes obsolete? I don't want to obsolete the golf pro. I want to compliment the golf pro. The golf pro does amazing things. He puts your body in amazing positions to teach you how to be repeatable as far as the game. What I want to be able to do with this machine is duplicate the swing flaws and then show you how you can improve. And more importantly, to show you what your max potential is for your swing. Can I ask it a few non-related golf questions? Sure, feel free. Uh, Eldrick, uh, can, I off, can we go off topic for a little bit? Of course. Uh, tell me, Eldrick, have you ever watched the Prep Pigskin Report? Just because I'm made out of high-end polymer and circuitry doesn't mean I live in a cave. Fair enough. You know we have a Sweet 16 fan vote going on where we're trying to pick the seventh member of our Silver Pigskin Gala podium. Can you tell us who you're going to vote for? I could tell you that but then I would have to bash you over the head with a one iron. Well, we certainly, we certainly don't want... Oh, hey! Well, Eldrick, what, uh, I don't know if you, from your internal, can you see, uh, you can see a monitor inside there, can you not? Yes. All right, well, with this happened in South Africa, we have some video of Luke Donald uh, playing golf in a European event in South Africa. He encountered a baboon. A baboon threatened him mid-swing. Eldrick, what is the proper, uh, what's your advice for a golfer who encounters a baboon on the golf course? You don't have to be faster than the baboon. You just have to be faster than your playing partner. Well, <laughs> that is excellent advice. Uh, Sean, can I bring you back here? We're going to throw up a graphic.